Hello everybody. First of all, I want to thank you for your comments on the previous movie of the Final Tron. Um, I want to conduct a couple of tests which are kind of difficult to perform because, um, for example, measuring the magnetic fields is one thing, but because um, the fields are not isolated here, there is a kind of influence there as well. However, that should not extend to that great range. So we have at least um, some information. I go with very, very little voltage on the system. I will measure the dielectrics. Is the dielectric field or not? As you know, I can with the signal generator quite easily illuminate this one. So here with power of 70, 80 volt or more, I would expect, if this is dielectric field, that this one will lit up. And the most important thing for some of you very concerned is a measure radiation. Um, however, measuring radiation is also a bit of a tricky thing because this device actually transforms any kind of um, radiation into a magnetic field and that triggers an, an event. So having magnetic fields here available that would inf influence this one as well. However, um, having it focused just here on the bulb should give you an indication so I would not expect anything here. So the, the background radiation is about uh, 0.1 microsievert till 0.2 microsievert at the moment it's at 0.122 there's nothing going on that is literally the cosmic radiation the background radiation we are we are exposed every day around that so I keep that keep that later on here and here I used a, um, a specific rod with a bifilar winding over here and use um, um, germanium and diodes here to take the voltage on that field here. Um, by the way, this one will also measure all the other fields from here, So, but I want to be focused here on the middle, so that does not extend to that range here, so it has to come from here. So this one will act literally, um, if you want, as a capacitor and should create some magnetic fields and that should be measured here. Um, so let's get started and let me um, show you what we're going to set up first. So the system is currently switched off, so any kind of magnetic fields will be picked up here from that coil. Let me show it to you. It's a, it's a specific ferret rod I got from um, military surplus from Russia. They, have, they are 20 centimeters long, so they're quite long, normal, uh, longer than the normal ones. Um, again here the gamma, gamma Scout very very useful tool and this new version is also very very sophisticated and measure, measures every radiation alpha, beta and gamma so that's currently background that's how it is so I do not expect that that's gonna change but as you can see here it, it moves between 100 and 10, 20, 40, whatever, to 100, uh, 0.18. That's absolutely normal. I don't expect anything above 0.2 microsievert. Then, of course, we have here um, our fluorescent bulb. And currently, nothing connected. That is a field, or literally, um, um, the radiation on a spectrum analyzer. So we we gonna have a look at this as well, but I expect because of the radiation from um, the back side of the coil that we're gonna see it here on the spectrum analyzer as well. So if you want to isolate it completely, the complete system would have to be encapsulated. Not sure if you can if you can um, actually shield it because as you know there's scalar fields penetrating out in that in that direction. Um, but that is a um, different discussion. I will go later on to that in a, in a specific video I already started to prepare. Um, I said at the, more, at the moment is to 0.9 volt. Let's just get started here. My frequency is 0, um, 1.2 megahertz. 
and thus just um, start my driver and let's connect power so current draw is uh, 32 milliamp 0.10 and what I measure currently is 0.1.27 volt so volt is a bit higher let me change a bit the frequency if I can change that no it goes down so that was yep 2.10 so that's 1.2 megahertz so 2.16 volt is measured at the moment here on the system um, let's see if I can increase that one so there is currently no glow of course but as you can see here wow if I go a little bit lower to the 17 I did um, I did tell you the radiation is stronger that means the light emission is lower but then the radiation from the tube is higher so here so my 1.17 megahertz as I mentioned before with strong radiation is reflected on the magnetic field that means I measure it 0.9 volt so I changed now the, the gamma scout to acoustic signal so that you can hear that actually if there's higher radiation I start now I change it have changed it now to 20 volt and let's get started so I have an output for 54 volt now on radiation um, magnetic level from the coil from the tube it's slightly illuminated and here as you can hear you can see as well but there's nothing there's no radiation except the standard one which comes from outside so nothing's going on here keep that here 20 volt of course now or because of um, the back side of the Tesla coil I get a lot of harmonics here it's 1.17 megahertz let me increase the voltage so I would now if, um, expect dielectric fields to be available around the coil because the isolation happens here here's the neutralization so that means dielectric field should not be around this area which it isn't there's nothing going on here because that is neutralized however let's go here on the other side of course here I get it comes from the other side and on the other side on this side I get yeah I get I get it as well this is a strong side that's a positive side depending how which direction I go here so this if I, if I hold in this angle that's quite strong it's weaker it's very strong at this angle yeah that's very strong this way of course here on the back side as expected as seen before it the field is extending out here so that's quite strong I would expect that so as I said that needs to be isolated the complete system because the dielectric field is still available around this coil system here the neutralization part happens here but um, the Tesla coil as such stays active again what it shows here as well is that this side is very very hard to illuminate no, almost nothing I had it I had it for a sec no nope. yeah this side it's one dot six seven going to hundred volt now um 
it's now quite equal on the brightness as you can see of course now the fields are becoming very very strong um, on here and on here uh, as it was before there's nothing of course when I touch it I get that I get it here on the back as well here it's much stronger I get it already but before I touch it and here very strong don't need to go close and I have a very very strong field around here but around here as you can see there is nothing it hasn't changed and I see here on a, in the middle so the energy is evenly distributed from both sides and slightly stronger on a negative side or on, yes 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 okay so that's it for today thank you